Hello everybody, welcome back to Marcus Eating Chocolate Podcast. This is the intro, it's over now. Well, uh, since the intro's over, uh, let's see, I haven't wrote anything for the intro. Or have I really nothing? Just end it right now. Okay, let's start. Are you ever sick of traffic jams? I bet you all are. It's, first of all, annoying. Second of all, you can't eat jam and you can't put it on your bread. It's not just annoying, isn't it? Yeah. We all hate traffic jams, but we have a solution. It's going to come in like um, 24, 29, but it's a solution anyways. That's right. Today, we are going back to the amazing technology of the future magazine, but how it works. The first technology that I will be talking about is intelligent autos found on page 056. Well, this is a page about how cars in the future will be able to communicate with each other at intersections specifically to reduce traffic jams. Right now, you'll see that cars have just been stuck up each other, like they're just causing each other to stop. That's how you form a traffic jam, by the way. Uh, a car stops, everybody else stops. But in the future, when cars get to communicate with each other, nobody will ever stop because they know when to avoid each other. They know when they would slow down. And if you communicate with each other really nicely, well, then we might just be able to skip all the traffic jams because cars aren't as bad as communicating as humans. Sorry, um, that was a bit bad and brutal. And now the second thing is about airport security. That's correct. Air Force security, you hear me? That line extending all the way across the world. Once I just went to Montreal, it took me realistically about four hours, seriously, just to get through security. I, I, I'm sure you have seen worse, but Montreal, the, the, the security line goes from all the way from the entrance into the snack bar, and again, into some, near some bathroom, it's really disgusting. And it goes around again, again, snaking through the airport and then right the moment you get a security it goes back to the entrance and then loops around again again and again again and finally you get the security yeah th- this kind of sucks we-, we need better airport securities and luckily for you here is some faster x-ray detecting security it's not that fast well you know security is a very slow process that we'll all have to get used to maybe we'll just ride the hyperloop in the future but at least it's a bit faster x-rays are a bit more accurate and the conveyor belt it's all a bit faster but it looks the best part is that it looks rounder and you know when something's around and clean it's a part of the future yeah that's airport securities but if you don't want airport securities you can always bypass it with flying cars on it right if you want to bypass the airport and save a few hours and not go to montreal by the way and by the way i can assure you that the Security line takes longer than the actual flight. You can own your own flying car, or maybe fly around the world. Maybe I'll talk about it in another episode because I don't have much time currently. Next topic is fitness. Right. Ever go to the gym? Well, you're, you're lucky in the future, I guess. Um, this is something that I would never do. I I get stuck in my home and I never heard about a place called the gym. Whenever I think of Jim, it's my friend Jim. He he uh, plays Minecraft with me a lot. That's what I think of. But anyways, in the future, the gym will be much improved for all the uh, gym rats out there. Um, I, I guess you have VR flying. It will Im- improve your bone structures. Get repair bones. It help you get used to get used to flying. You see, there's this machine that you can lay stomach your stomach on and you can stretch your arms out and simulate into the Grand Canyon you go whoosh through the birds collide into plane run out of oxygen that's just the amount of things you can do in the gym with VR flying now I guess even better with VR gaming the PlayStation is helping people get active so now um, people who like games don't have to go to the gym and get active yeah VR gaming, something that how to, how to get active. There's also cryo chambers. In the gym, you'll be cryo chambers, and it's like an ice bath, and you, you'll recover much faster. That's basically it for the gym right now. 
there's, there's also smart mirrors. Smart mirrors reflect everything in your statistics. From your body weight to how much you exercise to how lazy you are when you're exercising. So uh, that's all it's pretty good. But yeah, that's the game of the futures. And something that I will, I will not be doing. Help my cardiovascular system. I really need it. That was not good. So, um, yeah, that's it for today. I, I hope you enjoyed our podcast. And I hope to see you in another podcast in the future. Uh, see ya. Oh, and I almost forgot to say one, two, three, end. So here it is. Ending in three, two, one.